Good morning children today you will learn part 2 of unit 7 decimals in this session you will learn a few more concepts based on the lesson decimals children in this lesson you will learn what are equivalent decimals you will learn about like and unlike decimals you will learn to compare decimals you will learn to write the decimals in ascending or descending order and you will learn to apply the decimals in real life now children let us learn what are equivalent decimals here in this slide you can find three squares or three grids or you can say there are three holes w h o l e s three holes now each hole is divided into different number of equal parts the first hole is divided into 10 equal parts the second hole is divided into 100 equal parts the third hole is divided into 1000 equal parts now let us write the fraction for these three holes we will write the fraction for the amount which is shaded that is for the shaded part the fraction for the shaded part for the first hole is 3 by 10 the fraction for the shaded part for the second hole is 330 by 100 the fraction for the shaded part in the third hole is 300 by 1000 we can say that these three are equivalent fractions because when you have a look at these three holes you can see that the same amount or the same parts of the three holes are shaded here three parts out of 10 equal parts is shaded here 30 parts out of 100 equal parts is shaded and 300 parts out of 1000 equal parts is is shaded so we can say that these three are equivalent fractions now the fractions with denominator 10 100 and 1000 can be written as decimals the decimal in words for 3 by 10 is 3 tenths for 30 by 100 it is 30 hundreds for 300 by 1000 we can write as 300 thousands so these three decimals in words are also equal equivalent we can write this in the form of a decimal number 3 tenths is equal to 0.3 30 hundreds is equal to 0.30 300 thousands is equal to 0.300 so we can say that 0.3 is equal to 0.30 is equal to 0.300 so which represents these three holes the decimal numbers represents the decimal for the first hole it is 0.3 for the second hole it is 0.30 for the third hole the decimal number is 0.300 now we can say that these three decimal numbers have the same value so they are called as equivalent decimals now we can write these three decimal numbers in another form by writing 0.3 is equal to 0.3 is equal to 0.3 we have removed the zero from 30 hundreds we have removed one zero and we have written 0.3 and from 300 thousands 0.300 we have removed the two zeros and we have simply written 0.3 why because writing or removing zeros at the end of a decimal number does not change its value so please note this point when you have equivalent decimals as 0.3 0.30 and 0.300 you can remove the zeros at the end as writing or removing zeros at the end of a decimal number does not change its value fill in the blanks with equivalent decimals question a 0.6 6 10 is equal to 0.60 that is 60 hundreds and what should we fill up in the third place it should be 600 thousands that is 0.600 question b 
is equal to 1.70 is equal to 1.700 as we have learned in the previous slide writing or removing zeros at the end of a decimal number will not change its value question c 2.40 is equal to 2.4 is equal to 2.400 like and unlike decimals now let us learn what are like and unlike decimals decimals with same number of decimal places are called like decimals here are a few examples a 0.7 5.6 9.6 these three decimal numbers have one decimal place in the decimal part so they are called as like decimals b 15.08 1.04 and 427.36 observe these decimal numbers in these three decimal numbers there are two decimal places in the decimal part there are two decimal places in the decimal part so they are also like decimals c 1.074 0.721 11.04 these three decimal numbers have three decimal places in the decimal part 1.074 has three decimal places after the point the places are called as the decimal part the part is called as the decimal part and 0.721 has three places 11.790 also has three places in the decimal part so these three are also like decimals now what are unlike decimals decimals having different number of decimal places are called unlike decimals examples a 0.6 5.86 these two decimal places have decimal numbers have different number of decimal places the first number has one decimal place the second number has two decimal places so they are unlike decimals b 17.24 14.8 these two numbers also have different number of decimal places in the first number there are two decimal places in the second number there is only one decimal place so they are called unlike decimals c 0.639 9.53 these two numbers also have different number of decimal places three decimal places are there in the first decimal number and there are two decimal places in the second decimal number so they are also unlike decimals there is a note unlike decimals can also be equivalent decimals now just recollect what we learnt about equivalent decimals 0.5 0.50 and 0.500 these three are equivalent decimals but they are unlike so you can say that 0.5 0.50 and 0.500 are unlike decimals but they can they are called as equivalent decimals converting unlike decimals into like decimals let us learn how to convert unlike decimals into like decimals unlike decimals can be converted into like decimals by finding their equivalent decimals these three are unlike decimals 1.8 6.48 and 5.329 because they have different number of decimal places now let us learn how to convert these three unlike decimals into like decimals to convert unlike decimals into like decimals find their equivalent decimals up to the same number of decimal places let us see how to find their equivalent decimals 1.8 has one decimal place in it the second number 6.48 has two decimal places in it and the third number has three decimal places in it so we have to see the highest number of decimal place and which number has and how many decimal places are there in among these three decimal numbers 
so 5.329 this number has three decimal places which are the highest number of decimal places among these three numbers so we have to make the other two numbers also or convert the other two numbers also up to three decimal places by finding their equivalent decimals now 1.8 so this number has its equivalent decimal up to three decimal places as 1.800 6.48 this is written as up to three decimal places by finding its equivalent decimals we write 6.480 the third number already has three decimal places so we write the third number as it is 5.329 so now we can see that all three decimal numbers here have three decimal places each so they are converted into like decimals let us see some examples change to like decimals examples a 9.5 0.15 now let us see which number has the highest number of decimal places the second number 0.15 has two decimal places in it so we have to convert the first decimal number and find its equivalent decimal up to two decimal places so it will be written as 9.50 the second number is written as it is 0.15 now these two decimal numbers are like decimals b 5.73 0.919 5.73 has two decimal places and the decimal number 0.919 has three decimal places in it so we have to find the equivalent decimal of 5.73 up to three decimal places to convert as like decimals so 5.73 is written as 5.730 and the second number 0.919 is written down as it is c 13.6 1.72 and 0.845 now, now among these three decimal numbers the last number has three decimal places so we have to find the equivalent decimals of the first and the second number up to three decimal places so 13.6 will be written as 13.600 1.72 is written as 1.720 and 0.845 is written as it is so i hope i hope you all know now how to convert the unlike decimals into like decimals students we will learn to compare decimals using mathematical models to compare decimals at least two decimal numbers will be given here in example 1 we have 0.4 and 0.08 that is 4 tenths and 8 hundredths 4 tenths is shown with the help of the model as 10 equal parts this whole has 10 equal parts and four parts are shaded in second model out of 100 equal parts eight parts are shaded so it's very obvious with this example that 0.4 that is 4 tenths is greater than 8 hundredths example 2 33 hundredths 0.33 and 39 hundredths 0.39 these two numbers are compared now let us represent 0.33 with the help of mathematical model 33 hundredths out of 100 equal parts 33 parts are shaded and in the second number 0.39 out of 100 equal parts 39 parts are shaded so now from these two we can say that 33 hundredths are less than 39 hundredths exercise 7d question number 1 color to compare in this question in the textbook you can find the grids are already given and you just have to color the parts which are, which represent the decimal number 0.53 and 
here 53 hundreds we have to represent 53 hundreds so this is represented as a whole which is divided into 100 equal parts and out of that 53 parts are shaded and in the second whole 100 equal parts 7 parts are shaded so it is also obvious in this question that 53 hundreds are greater than 7 hundreds this is how we use mathematical models to compare decimals children now let us learn comparing decimals to compare decimals we have to follow certain steps the first step is that to compare decimals first convert them into like decimals the second step is that next compare the whole number part third step is that then compare the decimal part starting from tens hundreds and thousands so keep these three points in your mind so that you can do the comparing easily exercise 7d question number two compare using less than greater than or is equal to sign first question a 9.099 and 9.99 we have to compare these two decimal numbers so first we have to check whether they are like decimals or unlike decimals they both are unlike decimals so we have to convert them into like decimals by making this decimal number 9.99 the decimal part has to be made up to three decimal places so we add a zero with this now 9.099 and 9.990 are like decimals so now let us follow the second step here first compare the uh, whole number part in whole number part we have 9 here and also the second number has same 9 in the whole number part so we move on to the decimal part in decimal part we have 0 tens we start comparing from the tens place first tens then hundreds then thousands here we have 0 tens and in this other number we have 9 tens. So we can say that 9 tens are greater than 0 tens or 0 tens are lesser than 9 tens. So we can come to a conclusion that 9.099 is less than 9.990. Question B 70.08 70.7 now these two numbers are unlike decimals so we have to make it as like decimals by adding a zero with 70.7 we make it as like decimals now let us compare from the whole number part whole number part we have 70 here also we have 70 so we move on to the decimal part in decimal part we start from the tenths place we have 0 tenths here and in the second number we have 7 tenths. So we can say that 0 tenths are lesser than, is less than 7 tenths. So 70.08 is less than 70.70. Question C. Question C 6.6 .6 and 6.060 we have to compare these two decimal numbers now we have to convert these two as like decimals as we know that 6.6 .6 has only one decimal place whereas 6.060 has three decimal places in it now we have to make this 6.6 .6 up to three decimal places by adding two zeros now let us start comparing first the whole number part six here and in this other number also we have 6 now we move on to the decimal part in decimal part we have 6 tenths here we have 0 tenths so we can say that 6 tenths are greater than 0 tenths now we will put the sign 6.600 is greater than 6.060 question d 96.550 and 96.55 now to compare these two decimals first step we have to convert into like decimals in like decimals we have to add a zero with 96.55 so that we make both the decimals as like decimals now we will compare from the whole number part 96 
here too we have 9 to 6 decimal part we have 5 tens here too we have 5 tens next hundredths place 5 hundredths here also we have 5 hundredths and then 0 thousands and 0 thousands so we can say that all places are the same so we put the is equal to sign question e 5.091 and 5.09 now we have to make these two as like decimals we can make it by adding a zero with 5.09 so that it becomes like decimals we will compare from the whole number part five and five here in the whole number part in decimal part tens place is one zero here here tens place is zero nine in the hundreds place here we have nine and in thousands place we have one thousandths but here we have zero thousands. So since we have one thousands here, we say that the 5.091 is greater than 5.090. Dear students, ordering decimals and application in real life will be continued in the next video.